As we left off in True Friendship's high school, Return of a Gangster Episode 7, Mikyung is phoning Ehean to arrange a meeting. She boasts about her new strategy to defeat Ehean during the meeting. She claims that she is done using the gang. We find out that she bought the bully's reports of Ehean's beatings to the police. In addition, she pledged to provide the boys with lifelong care and legal representation. These naive youngsters naturally become aroused when they see money and throw caution to the wind. Mikyung makes it clear that Ehean has nothing on her and that he will never catch her before heading out. She was astute enough to remove all traces of her horrible actions. When Ehean goes back to school, he's shocked to see how well his buddies still treat him. When Sekyum arrives at school, Jae-hoon lets him know that he would no longer be able to attend Ehean's class. It is not possible to observe Sekyum with the bully while the matter is still pending. Thankfully, Sekyum writes a letter claiming he was never bullied and refuses to follow his dad's plan. Ehean is relieved to see him back in class as well. When Jamin arrives at class, he also says that the other boys reported Ehean to the police. While Ehean, Sekyung, and Jamin discuss their options, Ehean reassures them that he would take care of the problems. Sekyung tears another one into Jamin after he departs. Conversely, Ehean meets with the bullies and gives them an opportunity to retract their remarks. But the lads believe they can get away with giving false testimony because they feel safe in Mikyung's hollow assurances. They believe all they have to do is persuade Jamin to accompany them. At their meeting, the lads inform Jamin of their intentions to ruin Ehean's life and guarantee his sentencing to juvenile detention. The fact that the boys even have medical records proving they were struck astounds Jamin. But it was him, not Ehean, who defeated them. When Jamin refuses to comply, the boys debate whether or not to denounce him to the police as well. Ehean tries to establish his innocence at the police station, but the commanding officer demands more concrete proof. Ehean will require a witness to support him because the boys have already removed the videos of the bullying. Ehean chooses to get in touch with Dong Su and Jan Chiol to request assistance. While he resolves the bullying issue, he gives them instructions to locate Mikyung. As the days of classes pass, Ehean succeeds on his exam, and Sekyung is pleased with him. Sadly, before he can enjoy his high marks, the detective sends him a note telling him that the case has unexpectedly been handed over to the prosecution. Ehean injures one of the girls who has a crush on him by mistake as he rushes to the police station. Ehean is a poor guy. He has no idea that the girls are making out with him. Ehean tries to explain why his parents are unreachable at the police station. The officer claims that although they attempted to get in touch with Ehean's biological father, Mr. Bay, he was not in the city. Sekyum confronts his father for transferring the case to the prosecution office, speaking of dads. Ehean is a terrible seed, according to Myung Hyun, so she is shocked when Sekyum stands up for the young man. When Sekyum meets Jamin the following day, he questions him about why he won't testify on behalf of Yhean. Sekyum thinks Yhean would never question Jamin as he would be found out and sent to jail. Because of this, Sekyum believes that Jamin need to act morally even in the absence of request, particularly in light of Yhean's kindness toward him. Jamin declines to assist once more, although it is obvious that he is conflicted. When they later meet, he is insulted that Ehean has not asked him to testify. He pleads for mercy and pardon, claiming to be afraid and wanting to complete high school at the very least. He is understood by Ehean, who promises to take care of the situation. He feeds Jamin, welcomes him to his home, and advises him to make an effort to be a better person going forward. In addition, he requests that, upon his return, he apologize to the genuine Ehean. That night, Jamin sobs himself to sleep due to his troubles. Sekyum apologizes to Ehean in the meantime for what Myung Hyun done. When Ehean tells him it's not his fault, he feels comforted. Sekyum also says that he can defend himself and is no longer afraid of his father. Ehean feels he deserves it. 
Ihien makes the decision to stay at the hospital with his mother as the night draws in. She feels more refreshed and focused when she wakes up. She abruptly launches into a discussion regarding Ihien and Mikyum's father. She discloses that two years ago, Chairman Bay gave Mikyum a new residence. Ihien would like to know more, specifically where the house is located. He dispatches John Chiol and Dongso right away to inspect the house. The following day, Jamin gets up early. Before he gets ready for school, he cleans and cooks. He then phones Sekyung to find out the location of the hearing and leaves a message for his sister. Myunghyun shows up to the hearing at the end of the episode to prevent Sekyung from testifying. Jamin shows up at the same moment and declares that he is there to betray someone. Who is he going to betray? The review of the episode. Finally, the final episode is here, and the stakes have been significantly increased. Will Jamin turn on home? Will Sekyung be freed from Myunghyun's control? What will happen to Sekyung if he keeps retaliating against his father? And last, what will Ihean do with Mikyung and where is she? Let's go right into the finale to see if we can find the answers to all of the numerous questions we have.